I, I do think we need more criminal justice reform. And for me, our, our criminal justice system right now seems very, very focused on this, you know, kind of, quote, you're, you're paying back your debt to society. And I'm not saying there isn't a debt to society. I think, you know, we all pay taxes for a police force, a court system, and everything else, and that costs money, and um, we have it there to, in order to stop people who are doing bad things. But I really think we need more emphasis on restorative justice, this idea that um, there's a victim involved, and that victim deserves to be made whole. That victim deserves justice. And so for me, there's, there's essentially three categories. There's, if you've committed a crime which resulted in a victim and an act of violence, well then yeah, incarceration might be necessary. We may have to remove you from society for a period of time um, so that you don't harm innocent people. And I think that's perfectly responsible. And I don't know if uh, hawkish is the right word, but yeah, if you've hurt an innocent person, um, I, I think there should be serious consequences for that. The next step is when you've created a victim, but it hasn't resulted in an act of violence. Now, I don't want to put any less emphasis on this because if you're someone that engaged in you know, identity theft and ripped off grandma and grandpa of their entire life savings, that's a serious crime. And yeah, there's certain freedoms or certain uh, privileges that should be denied you while you, you know, restore the victims that you created. And then the third level is a crime with no victim. <laughs> And those are ones that I look at and I think we need to seriously reconsider because I think it does lead to over-criminalization. I think it leads to over-felonization. And the end result ends up being a, um, a very unruly criminal justice system where the government gets to selectively apply the law and where people that maybe made a, a fairly stupid mistake young in life uh, now have a felony that follows them the rest of their life and contributes to them constantly being put back into an environment um, where they're going to repeat those mistakes. So I, I think on issues like that, and you know, I carried a bill on civil asset forfeiture reform because <laughs> I don't think the government should suspend your your right to due process in order to take your stuff. And, and we saw a lot of crossover support for that. I had the Tea Party, the Family Foundation, and the ACLU all show up to testify on behalf of my bill. <laughs> we had to get a picture. We weren't sure that was going to happen again. But I, I do think there's issues with criminal justice reform. Um, that, that there is a lot of area, you know, things like industrial hemp. You know, there's there's areas where there is crossover.